Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Drills again. A lot of people been asking me for a tutorial showing them how to add add-on clothing so that we're not actually replacing clothing in 5M but we're adding new clothing to the end of the pack, creating new numbers and new slots for our clothing. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now let's get into it. Now you're gonna need this program called YMT Editor. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So just go ahead and download that, install it and whatever you need to do. Also, I've set up this file system. Now I'm gonna leave a copy of this in my Discord. The link's gonna be below, so come over there join the discord and you'll be able to get this file system and edit the files that are already in there and it will make your life so much easier once that's all done we're going to open up this file system now you'll see you've got a different folder for every type of item and obviously you're going to put the correct items in the correct folders but if we go back you'll see in this folder we've got the fx manifest and we've also got the metadata we're going to need to edit those soon but we'll come back to that first we need to add a ymt file into our stream folder we're going to go ahead and open up the ymt editor we've just installed this is a really handy tool that's going to let us create new slots for our clothes so we're going to click file and then we're going to click new and then we're going to choose what we want our clothing folder to be called i'm going to call mine dc for drills clothing but you can kind of call yours whatever you want it's up to you and once you've done this you'll see you've got your ymt name there you'll need that later on So we're gonna click on components and you're gonna see you've got all the different types of clothing. Now, if you wanna add all different types of clothing, then go ahead and click them all. If you just wanna add one type, then just click on a specific type you're gonna need. But I would suggest adding all of them. Now, if you add the props as well, if you wanna add like glasses and stuff like that. Okay, for this tutorial, we're gonna be using teeth because we're only gonna be adding chains. So I'm gonna open up the T folder. Then I'm gonna split the screen so I can show you this. Now, I've added four chains to the folder. You need to start with zero, it's very important. So I've got zero, one, two, and three. That makes four chains in total. Now, if I come over to the YMT editor, you'll see that I've got triple zero. That's our first chain. Now, if you wanted to add more than one texture for something like a t-shirt, You'll click on plus one texture each time you need to add another texture but because it's a chain it's only going to have one texture so i'm only going to add one for now but that's our triple zero chain done we're going to click on add new drawable that's going to add another chain so i'm going to do that two more times so we've got four in total obviously if you have more than four then you need to correspond with what you've got Now we're going to go ahead and save this and we're going to find our stream folder. Once we find it, we're just going to click save. Now you see in our stream folder, we have the YMT file and that's good to go. Now if you wanted to edit this file in the future, maybe add some more stuff in, then you're just going to come up here, you're going to do open YMT, you're going to find that file, you're going to click on it and you're going to click open. As you can see, this will reopen the YMT file and you could add more clothing and stuff to it like this. That's the YMT file done, guys. So next we've got to edit the code in the FX manifest and the metal. I'm going to open this with Visual Studio Code. Now this name here is what you're going to need for the FX manifest. You're just going to need to make sure these two match the same name of our YMT folder. Then we're going to hit file, then we're going to hit save. That's done. And right, now we just need to do the meta. So we're going to open this in Visual Studio Code again. Now with this one, you want the ped name to be as it is. If it was a female, you need to change the M to an F, but that's for the male ped. Next, we need to add the name of our folder. So whatever we've called our folder is gonna go there. And again, what we've called our YMT is gonna go here. Full DLC name is the same as the YMT name. Leave this as it is. 
With the creature metadata, you just need to change the end of it so it's the same as your file name. Then we're gonna hit file and save, and that's done. Next, I'm just gonna show you how you should name your files. This is how they should be named. Obviously, you need to change the DC to the name of your folder if you've called it something different. But other than that, this is how they should be named. I will leave these in the description so you can see. Go through and make sure the zero is triple zero, the one is double zero one, then double zero two, etc. Then we're just gonna drag and drop our DC folder into our resources folder. And we're gonna go to our server CFG and we're gonna make sure we insure our folder. Then we're gonna save file and we're gonna restart server. And that's it guys. Now if we load up our server. Now before I'd done this, there was 177 chains. Now that I've added them, you can see there's 181. That's added on four chains. So it's successfully done. And if I flick through, you'll just see the chains that I've added in. Accidentally, I've added the same chain in two different slots, but you can see I've added four chains. And that's it guys. That's all you gotta do to add custom clothing as an add-on and not a replacement for 5M. If this video helped you, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget you can join the Discord. We've got tons of support from the community over there. We're giving out free items, software, all sorts of stuff. So. Come and join us, but yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.